If you're an administrator, constantly being prompted for a sudo password can be kind of frustrating. So let's take a look at how we can set that to be automatic. I'm Don Pazette, and this is an IT Pro TV Quick Byte. Disabling the sudo password prompt is actually pretty easy to do. We can use a tool called Visudo to do that. So to, to basically get in and edit this, we need to run sudo Visudo. You have to be an administrator to run the Visudo command, and so we're having to well, sudo into it, which seems a little bit weird, but it does actually work. Uh, it's gonna prompt me for my sudo password, so I'll punch in what my password for my user account is. And now I'm editing the sudoers file, which is slash etc slash sudoers. You could edit it directly, but if you make a mistake, you can break the sudo command. By using visudo, it's gonna make sure to do some checking to ensure we don't have any mistakes. Now I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom of the file. This file is processed from top to bottom. So any changes you make typically need to be done at the bottom of the file. And I'm gonna add an entry in for my user account. I want to be able to run sudo without having to provide a password. I then need to tell it what commands I'm authorized to run and from what machines I'm allowed to use this from. As an administrator, we're normally gonna say all equals and then in parentheses, all again. I'm allowed to run all commands from all workstations. So if I'm remotely connected in, I will still be able to run those commands. Next, I'm gonna hit tab and enter in another line. I'll say no pass WD colon ALL. -L. In other words, for all commands, I don't have to provide a password. My user account will be able to run it without issue. Right? Once that's done, I can save the file. We'll just save those changes. And now that that's done, it's taken effect, but you might not notice it right away. Sometimes you need to exit out of your terminal and get back in before it fully takes effect. And that's because the sudo command can actually cache your password and you may think you've made the change and it's not actually working. Now that I've gone back in there though, I can do a sudo who am I? And see, it didn't prompt for a password. So pretty easy to get that squared away. What we just did is we had a chance to disable the password prompt for sudo by modifying, modifying slash etc slash sudoers using the vi sudo command. Well, if you want to learn more about the Linux command prompt, or really IT in general, be sure to check out our website over at itpro.tv. I'm Don Pazette, and this is an IT Pro TV Quick Bite.